I'm so excited today to talk about some tips and tricks about interviews because I haven't done such videos in this contents for a very, very long time. And recently I have got a request from one of my friends about uh, how to prepare for the interview as well as uh, considering about change the job and so on. So I think it would be great that to make a video to talk about some hacks and tips and what kind of things you should pay attention if you are going for a interview. So I think you could find tons of videos on YouTube or on other professional channels about how to prepare for interviews and do's and don'ts and what kind of things you should pay attention to. You could find really a lot of information about that. Uh, however, I think a lot of them are not so much focusing on a specific situation which might fit to your situation. That's why I would like to emphasize first uh, the tips and tricks I am listing or talking about here in this video are specifically for the young professions who has been working for a couple of years in a certain industry and right now thinking about change to a similar industry or change to another firm to the nearly exactly the same position. So if you are thinking about change to another industry completely or you are a fresh graduate or you are already a high executive, I think there will be a lot of other uh, videos or materials or books outside that you could find suitable and more helpful advices on that. So let's get started. If you have already decided to go for the job interview, I suppose that you are very interested in the position at least and the company itself. And uh, if you're running for a position in a company in similar industry or uh, in a exactly same industry, but another firm, I suppose that you have at least some very basic knowledge about uh, what is the firm is doing and what kind of services or products they are offering and also the scope of the company. So that's why I'm not going to talk about to prepare it by just looking at the homepage of the company, but really go deeper into the position you are applying for or um, you are going to have the interview with. So firstly, try to find information through online sources or through your friends in the industry to, to get to know about the division or this department that you are going to uh, work for. What exactly do they do? What kind of detailed uh, daily tasks every day they are dealing with, how is the department structured, how is the team look like, just to get a general idea of the team or the department you are going to work with. And also what I found very helpful is go on social media, the professional social media like LinkedIn, like Sing, just go on these platforms to look for the employees of this company, especially the employees of this departments that you're going to work for, what kind of people they are, uh, how many of them, what kind of profile do they have from degree, cultural background, uh, former working experiences, and uh, you could see their face as well. And just to get a general feeling, uh, in my opinion, it's very important to work in a team that you are fitting with or you're comfortable to work with. So just to get the first image and idea in your head so that you won't be too surprised when you're in the interview, trying to create a click with the interviewer or your future teammates and future colleagues. So for example, if you have been studying in the same university as one of the teammates in the department, it will be a good connection to start with, of course, or directly with the interviewer, you, you have been working in similar companies or worked in similar projects or even served the same clients. Just try to get something in common between you and the interviewer to warm up the atmosphere when you go to the interview. And on the other hand, by checking the profile of the former employees are also very useful. You can get a feeling of um, what kind of employees this company prefers or this department prefers. And on the other hand, you could see if there are any differences between the general profile from the former callings and the existing employees. 
to see if the standards of uh, candidate selection from the company side, if they're consistent or if they have gone through a big change in the last maybe years or months, you have seen they have been hiring people with a total different background a few months ago, a bunch of them. And right now, all of them are not there anymore. And all the callings existing are with a similar profile, or you could somehow see the pattern of how they have got selected, that you could somehow create an image or place of red flag, at least in your mind, that this company or this department might have gone through some executive changes, department changes, restructure, or the direction of business have been changed so differently so that they have to hire other profiles to fulfill their tasks. Through this online or offline researches, it's very helpful for you to come up with the questions you would like to ask when you are in the interview. It's very important to ask the right questions and the key questions that to help you to, to uh, make the good decision if you really would like to join this company or not. And another thing is after such a research, you would be able to compare somehow your existing job and this future position you're going to run for. If there are any differences and what kind of differences, uh, what kind of things you would think would be a future challenge for you, what could be beneficial for your career path, uh, what will be remaining the same as your old job or what could be worse. So secondly, when you are on the interview day, very important thing is be punctual and try your best to dress the same way as the employees in the companies do. Here I'm not talking about the proper dress code like most of the uh, interview suggestion videos are talking about, uh, business professional, this kind of style and so on, but really something first of all you're comfortable with, second is uh, similar to the employees of the company is wearing. For example, if you are running for a position in a sport company, that's not very suitable to dress in a very business way. Instead, a bit sporty, a little bit casual might be a better fit. Try to find some information and all kind of corporate photos they have put online to see what kind of clothes they're wearing and then try to dress the same way. This is very beneficial because first of all, you create an image of you are one of them immediately. And it also helps you to see if you're really satisfied or comfortable uh, dressing in this kind of style of clothes every day and work in this environment with all the people are dressing in this way. And prepare your self-introduction first. The first question of all the interviews, I think maybe 80% of the interviews will ask you first, tell something about yourself. It means give us your self-introduction. This is a hard question. You have already been working for a few years. It means you are not a young fresh graduate. So it's not appropriate to talk about your biography totally from the beginning. Pay attention to pick some points or some period of time in your life or in your career so far that can reflect your strength or your knowledge or your um, personality. And also avoid too much personal issues or privacies. I have gone through interviews that uh, the candidate was telling about his relationship and his family stories, and this kind of stuff if it was related to your career path. For example, because of family issues, you had to quit your job for a period of time that right now you are think thinking about going back to the industry. That makes sense to explain to what happened in between. But if it was long ago or it doesn't really reflect on your CV or your career path at all, try not to mention them. Another thing is if you are asked about your past working experiences or your work related responsibilities and specialities, if possible, please answer in the professional terms. We show the interviewer and straightforward image that you have been working 
in this industry you have really gained these experiences you know what you are doing and you are ready to go for the job in their company but of course if the industry or let's say the, the company you were having interview with has no direct connection with your last employer or the companies you have been working for be careful about uh, this point uh, it could also create some misunderstanding and here are some typical questions in interviews um, why have you decided to change your job uh, why have you chosen our company what was your plan in five or ten years why did you have a gap in career why do you think you're the right candidate for us and uh, what do you think is the most important uh, characteristic to be successful in this job what kind of leaders you like what kind of teams you would like to work with or it will be necessary be not even before the interview but before you decided to go for another position in another company you should have already all the answers in your head why would you like to make a change the third thing of course it's very very important but, but it might not happen at the first interview is talking about the salary you could find it on a lot of uh, websites of company ratings like Kununu, like Glassdoor, like some other uh, job portals usually they will publish uh, some yearly statistics about different industry in different country and what position how much or what range of salary are they earning and uh, another thing which will be helpful is uh, to ask or to cooperate with a HR consultant so they're the one who are always in the industry and they know their candidates or what kind of level or in what company how much they're earning how is the package usually looks like and sometimes even their salary structure and do pay attention that in some countries it is uh, regulated by law that the company is not allowed to ask your current salary level and the last thing I would like to give it to you as a suggestion is be yourself be honest in the interviews and do ask questions smartly ask the things you're really concerned about and pay attention to the answers that they have given to you if possible do request for a short meeting or half day observation with your teammates and your direct boss so you must know the person you are working with day to day in the future as well as the, the teammates you're cooperating with so that's are the tips and tricks and suggestions I would like to give to you if you are thinking about uh, going for a new position a new company or change to another similar industry I hope they are helpful and if you have other ideas or questions please leave the content down there if you like my content please give a thumbs up and i will see you next time